Lex. Welcome to Upstreet Online. We're wrapping up week four talking about honesty, and honestly, I've learned a lot. We got one more week coming at you, and oh, hold on. What? I'm not on it, but she told me. Oh, you're never gonna believe this. Guys, you're the first to know. My friend Sarah is no longer my friend. For real, guys, she just totally lied to me. She said she turned in my audition list for the school musical because I had an eye appointment, but she didn't do it. My teacher just posted the audition list and I'm not on it. She said she never got my form. Sarah knew how important this was to me and she totally sabotaged it because she wanted the lead. I can't believe she just lied to my face. It's so awful. Man, oh man, being lied to feels terrible, doesn't it? I get why Lex is so upset. Sometimes we think that if we lie, or if we don't tell the whole truth, it'll make things easier. But lying doesn't make things easier at all. In fact, let me tell you a story. Daniel, Caleb, Ryder, can you guys help me? Hey guys, <laughs> thanks for helping. So let me set the stage for you. There is a father named Isaac who had two sons. Great, Daniel. But actually, Isaac is really, really, really old. And he can't see that well. Perfect, you look great. That looks great. So Isaac had two sons. One was named Esau and one was named Jacob. Now Esau was the oldest and well, also the hairiest. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. I got an idea. <laughs> yeah, that looks hairy. Okay, so Esau was hairy, which may seem like a silly little detail, but it's actually a very big deal. So you've got Esau. He's hairy and again, he's the oldest. And as the oldest son, Esau would receive a special blessing or inheritance. It meant that when Isaac died, Esau would be the one to take care of the land and all the property that belonged to his dad. It was a big deal. And once the blessing had been given, it could not be taken back. It could only be given to one son and it was forever. But there were two brothers, right? So let's talk about the other one. The younger brother in Isaac's family was named Jacob. Isaac, remember, is pretty, pretty old now. And it was time for Isaac to give his blessing. So he called in his oldest son, Esau. Esau! Isaac told Esau he knew that he was old and about to die. Isaac knew it was time to give this very special blessing. So he asked Esau to go hunting and bring back some meat to make some stew, Isaac's favorite stew. He was a chef, yeah. Then after they ate, Isaac would officially give Esau the inheritance. So Esau left to do what his father asked. While Esau was out hunting, something really, really, really crazy happened. You guys ready for this? You see, Jacob decided that he wanted the blessing instead of his brother. Mm-hmm. Jacob decided to lie to his dad. So he put on some of Esau's clothes and he put on some of the animal skin on his arm so he'd feel hairy just like his brother. And he went in to see his dad, pretending to be his hairy brother, Esau. See, I told you the hairy part was important. Now, I want you guys to listen to their conversation and I want you to see and even count how many lies Jacob told his father. I am Esau, your firstborn son. I've done as you told me. Please, eat some of my stew. How did you find it so quickly, son? The Lord your God gave me success. You sound like Jacob, but you feel like Esau. Are you really my son Esau? I am. Did you guys catch all of those lies? Jacob lied to his dad again, and again, and again. And Jacob tricked his dad into giving him the inheritance. And remember, once it was given, it couldn't be taken back. As soon as Jacob left, guess who came back? Esau. So picture this, right after giving the blessing to Jacob, Esau comes back. 
Dad, I'm here for my blessing. But I already gave it to you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. What did you do? <sighs> when Isaac and Esau realized what Jacob had done, they were both so heartbroken. Isaac had been lied to by his own son. And Jacob had stolen from Esau, his own brother. Isaac was so angry that his own son had lied to him. Esau was heartbroken because lying always hurts someone. Jacob's lies hurt his family so much that things were really bad between Jacob and his father and his brother. Jacob actually had to run away from his family. Can you guess for how long? 20 years. Can you imagine 20 whole years of not seeing your family? All because Jacob had lied. Lying always hurts someone. Lying doesn't make things easier or better. It only makes things worse. It makes it harder for people to trust you. It hurts your relationships with the people you love and it hurts you because you know you lied. Lying always hurts someone. I know that telling the truth and being honest is something that we actually all need help with. So let's pray to God and ask for help. God, it's so sad seeing what happened between Jacob and his dad and his brother. Lying really hurts the people we love and lying really hurts us. Please help us to tell the truth no matter what. We love you. Amen. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in men who are trustworthy. Proverbs 12, 22. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in men who are trustworthy. Proverbs 12, 22. Guys, I know it's like, duh, but lying really does hurt. Like, you feel it so much when you're on the other side of it, you know? I don't ever want to make someone else feel the way I feel now. I want to be a friend who keeps it honest. That's Sarah. Ugh, not sure I'm ready to talk to her, but I'll try. See ya.